Phaseolus vulgaris, also known as the common bean, green bean and French bean, among other names, is a herbaceous annual plant grown worldwide for its edible dry seeds or unripe fruit both commonly called beans. The main categories of common beans, on the basis of use, are dry beans seeds harvested at complete maturity, snap beans tender pods with reduced fiber harvested before the seed development phase and shell shelled beans seeds harvested at physiological maturity. Its leaf is also occasionally used as a vegetable and the straw as fodder. Its botanical classification, along with other Phaseola species, is as a member of the legume family Fabaceae, most of whose members acquire the nitrogen they require through an association with Rhizobia, a species of nitrogen-fixing bacteria. The common bean is a highly variable species that has a long history of cultivation. All wild members of the species have a climbing habit, but many cultivars are classified either as bush beans or dwarf beans, or as pole beans or climbing beans, depending on their style of growth. These include the kidney bean, the navy bean, the pinto bean, and the wax bean. The other major types of commercially grown bean are the runner bean coccineus, and the broad bean faba. Beans are grown on every continent except Antarctica. Worldwide, 27 million tons of dried beans and 24 million tons of green beans were grown in 2016. In 2016, Myanmar was the largest producer of dried beans, while China produced 79% of the world total of green beans. The wild pea vulgaris is native to the Americas. It was originally believed that it had been domesticated separately in Mesoamerica and in the southern Andes region, giving the domesticated bean two gene pools. However, recent genetic analyses show that it was actually domesticated in Mesoamerica first, and traveled south, probably along with squash and maize corn. The three Mesoamerican crops constitute the three sisters, central to indigenous North American agriculture. <laughs> Description The common bean is a highly variable species with a long history. Bush varieties form erect bushes 20 to 60 cm tall, while pole or running varieties form vines 2 to 3 m long. All varieties bear alternate, green or purple leaves, which are divided into three oval, smooth-edged leaflets, each 6 to 15 cm long and 3 to 11 cm wide. The white, pink, or purple flowers are about 1 cm long, and they give way to pods 8 to 20 cm in long and 1 to 1.5 cm wide. These may be green, yellow, black, or purple in color, each containing 4 to 6 beans. The beans are smooth, plump, kidney-shaped, up to 1.5 cm long, range widely in color, and are often modeled in two or more colors. As the name implies, snap beans break easily when the pod is bent, giving off a distinct audible snap sound. The pods of snap beans green, yellow and purple in color are harvested when they are rapidly growing, fleshy, tender, not tough and stringy, bright in color, and the seeds are small and underdeveloped 8 to 10 days after flowering. Raw or undercooked beans contain a toxic protein called phytohemagglutinin. Dry beans Similar to other beans, the common bean is high in starch, protein, and dietary fiber, and is an excellent source of iron, potassium, selenium, molybdenum, thiamine, vitamin B6, and folate. Dry beans will keep indefinitely if stored in a cool, dry place, but as time passes, their nutritive value and flavor degrade and cooking times lengthen. Dried beans are almost always cooked by boiling, often after being soaked in water for several hours. While the soaking is not strictly necessary, it shortens cooking time and results in more evenly textured beans. In addition, soaking beans removes 5-10% of the gas-producing sugars that can cause flatulence for some people. The methods include simple overnight soaking and the power soak method in which beans are boiled for 3 minutes and then set aside for 2-4 hours. Before cooking, the soaking water is drained off and discarded. Dry common beans take longer to cook than most pulses. Cooking times vary from 1 to 4 hours, but are substantially reduced with pressure cooking. In Mexico, Central America, and South America, the traditional spice used with beans is epizote, which is also said to aid digestion. In East Asia, a type of seaweed, kombu, is added to beans as they cook for the same purpose. 
Salt, sugar, and acidic foods such as tomatoes may harden uncooked beans, resulting in seasoned beans at the expense of slightly longer cooking times. Dry beans may also be bought cooked and canned as refried beans, or whole with water, salt, and sometimes sugar. <laughs> Green beans and wax beans The three commonly known types of green beans are, string or snap beans, which may be round or have a flat pod, stringless or French beans, which lack a tough, fibrous string running along the length of the pod, and runner beans, which belong to a separate species, Phaseolus coccineus. Green beans may have a purple rather than green pod, which changes to green when cooked. Wax beans are P. vulgaris beans that have a yellow or white pod. Wax bean cultivars are commonly grown, the plants are often of the bush or dwarf form. Compared to dry beans, green and wax beans provide less starch and protein and more vitamin A and vitamin C. Green beans and wax beans are often steamed, boiled, stir fried, or baked in casseroles. <laughs> Shelling beans Shell, shelled, or shelling beans are beans removed from their pods before being cooked or dried. Common beans can be used as shell beans, but the term also refers to other species of beans whose pods are not typically eaten, such as lima beans, soybeans, peas, and fava beans. Fresh shell beans are nutritionally similar to dry beans, but are prepared more like a vegetable, often being steamed, fried, or made into soups. Popping beans The Nunia is an Andean subspecies, P. V. S. U. B. S. P. Nunas, formerly P. vulgaris Nunias group, with round, multicolored seeds that resemble pigeon eggs. When cooked on high heat, the bean explodes, exposing the inner part, in the manner of popcorn and other puffed grains. Cultivars and varieties Some scientists have proposed Mesoamerica as a possible origin for the common bean. Scientists disagree over whether the common bean was a product of one or multiple domestication events. Over time two diverse gene pools emerged, the Andean gene pool from southern Peru to northwest Argentina and the Mesoamerican gene pool between Mexico and Colombia. Many well-known bean cultivars and varieties belong to this species, and the list below is in no way exhaustive. Both bush and running pole cultivars, varieties exist. The colors and shapes of pods and seeds vary over a wide range. Production In 2016, world production of green beans was 23.6 million tons, led by China with 79% of the total table. World dried bean production in 2016 was 26.8 million tons, with Myanmar, India, and Brazil as leading producers table. Toxicity. The toxic compound phytohemagglutinine, a lectin, is present in many common bean varieties, but is especially concentrated in red kidney beans. White kidney beans contain about a third as much toxin as the red variety. Broad beans Vicia faba contain 5 to 10% as much as red kidney beans. Phytohemagglutinine can be deactivated by cooking beans for 10 minutes at boiling point 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Insufficient cooking, such as in a slow cooker at 80 degrees Celsius, 176 degrees Fahrenheit, however, is not sufficient to deactivate all toxin to safely cook the beans. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration recommends boiling for 30 minutes to ensure they reach a sufficient temperature for long enough to completely destroy the toxin. For dry beans, the FDA also recommends an initial soak of at least 5 hours in water, which should then be discarded. Outbreaks of poisoning have been associated with cooking kidney beans in slow cookers. The primary symptoms of phytohemagglutinin poisoning are nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Onset is from 1 to 3 hours after consumption of improperly prepared beans, and symptoms typically resolve within a few hours. Consumption of as few as 4 or 5 raw, soaked kidney beans can cause symptoms. 
Canned red kidney beans, though, are safe to use immediately. Beans are high in purines, which are metabolized to uric acid. Uric acid is not a toxin as such, but may promote the development or exacerbation of gout. However, more recent research has questioned this association, finding that moderate intake of purine rich foods is not associated with increased risk of gout. Other uses Bean leaves have been used to trap bedbugs in houses. Microscopic hairs trichomes on the bean leaves entrap the insects. From ancient times, beans were used as device in various methods of divination. Fortune telling using beans is called favomancy. See also equals equals footnotes